Hello, hola, bonjour, and guten tag. It's Sparkle here. Welcome back, everybody. And today's video is actually a really exciting one. Um, I put up a community post on my channel just a couple of weeks back asking my subscribers to suggest some random things for me to draw. So I got a bunch of responses, and I'm going to try and draw as much of them today as I can. But let's see how this goes. Okay, so I haven't been drawing my sketchbook a lot, but I have been doing some drawing outside my sketchbook, and that's been pretty fun. Okay, now let's kick this off. My goal for today is to do as many drawings as I can, and hopefully fill in these two pages and some tie spread. I'm gonna pick the ideas at random, and the first one I can see on my screen is, can you draw fruits as people? I think it will be great. Let's try it out. Fruits as people. I have drawn fruits as people before, but I wanna draw it again because it's really fun. All right, let's pick it up maybe with a watermelon spy card. Ah, sketching is lots of fun, actually. I haven't sketched in a while. I've just been doing lots of like finished illustrations, but just the entire sketching process is pretty fun. Starting off with the head and moving on to the neck. I want to make it look a bit like shy and adorable. Ah, that's so cute, actually. I think I'm gonna go with the girl. Like I said, I want to fit in as many drawings as I can, so I'm drawing really, really small at this point. Okay, I feel like every time I draw the pros, I draw it like really differently, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and just use the circles to outline where I want the shoulders, elbows, and hands to be. I've been making a lot of portrait drawings, and um, the pros is usually like just stop at the shoulders or go up to the knees, but this is a nice change actually. I haven't drawn like a full body illustration in ages. <laughs> okay, and now it's time to design the outfit. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble choosing the hairstyle today. Like, I feel like this looks really cute. You know what? I like this hairstyle. I'm sticking with it. Alright, so for the outfit, how about we can add like some green here, like what the slices have. Okay, and now let's try and add in that triangular thing. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Alright, so now I've just added a couple of circles here to kind of like represent the seeds, and I think it just makes the drawing look a bit more better. And now let's go ahead and do the line art. Alright, and with the line art done, now it's time to start coloring. So let's start it off with the skin. And one of my favorite things about coloring in a drawing with like a watermelon theme is just how the color palette is pretty much red and green. I am seriously just rushing this, honestly. Okay, let's add a bit of pink for the cheek, all the way across, and then bump it up. All right, so for the top, I just want to go with a flat uh, red color. I want to try and just keep it really simplistic and avoid shading for this part because, I mean, red is a really pretty color on its own. These are exactly the colors I had in mind to use. This is perfect. Let's color it in now. I love, love, love coloring with markers. Markers are just one of the most satisfying mediums to color with. And now let's go ahead and color in with this pink. This is like really similar to the red color, but just a little bit different. And now let's color the rest in with this lighter pink marker. I'm feeling a bit wild today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and color the hair green. Maybe with accents of blue in it as well. I'm just gonna start off with a small part to see how it looks, and then based on that, we'll figure out how to do the rest. This seems okay to me. I'm just gonna continue this for the rest of the hair. I think for the boots, I'm probably just gonna go with pink with some green in the bottom. Perfecto, and now it's just time for the highlights. And just to take it a step further, maybe we can just add a bit of a background. Nothing too complicated, just a little background. I think it might be pretty cool if I left a little space between the character and the background as well. Okay, and now we are done with the drawing. Okay, and now let's move on to the next one. All right, I'm just gonna keep scrolling down and... All right, let's go this one. You should draw a pirate who's outcast by their crew, male or female. That is a really cool idea. This one I'm gonna keep pretty simplistic and I should stop by just packing this up first. Let's do that. Boy, do I love making transitions. <laughs> well, I think an outcast pirate would look pretty sad. Drawing guys is already challenging enough for me, and now I'm gonna have to draw a sad guy, so wish me luck. And yeah, this drawing might not turn out the best, but it's a step in learning, so I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> this drawing is much bigger than the last one. Oh, and of course. <laughs> Pirates have eye patches, duh. Maybe I can add a red band, like a bandana. And of course, a pirate hat. How do you draw a skeleton? My gosh, I'm just realizing how bad I am at drawing a pirate. I mean, I could use a reference, but eh, this is pretty fun, honestly. It looks about right. Honestly, sketching a feather is kind of like sketching a leaf. All right, now there's probably gonna be a color coming this way. I think we've got it. Let me just go ahead and refine the sketch. All right, and there we are. This is how a pirate looks. Honestly, I feel kind of bad for the pirate, but hopefully his crew will take him back again. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, and now the next one. I was really hoping someone would comment this, but of course, I am definitely gonna draw a Harry Potter character. Okay, so I think this would be the perfect spot to draw Harry. Why Harry? Because I wanna draw Harry. <laughs> I actually want to draw Harry like realistically at some point. By the way, if you haven't watched Harry Potter, seriously, go and watch Harry Potter. It's amazing. But of course, check the age rating as well. <laughs> I am doing no justice for the hair. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget the iconic car. Don't worry, no spoilers here. But yeah, I think I might make a Harry Potter themed uh, video in the future, like a sketch me or something like that. So stay tuned for that. Let me just finalize this sketch. And done! This is such a sketchy drawing, but I like it because it is so sketchy. Scrolling through again. A potato on a couch. Oh, okay, that seems pretty cool. I wonder how that would look. Let's try it out. I think I might just make a really mini drawing here. And maybe color it in as well. Let's start off by drawing your classic couch. This potato is one that fits perfectly on the sofa. Now, uh, let's just add a couple of Z's. And now for the couch. There we go. Sometimes making things simple is what makes them cuter and more beautiful. I don't know why, but when I think of couches, I just automatically think of a blue couch. So I'm gonna call the couch in a blue color. Maybe a different blue. This one seems pretty good. And because I want it, I'm just gonna add a bit of pink on the cheeks. I don't even know why I'm finding this adorable, but it looks adorable. Okay, am I done with that? And what can we do next? Oh, that sounds pretty cool. A cat eating strawberries. Let's try it out. I feel like this might be the right spot. Uh, I want to go with more of a chibi style right now for the cat or the kitten, maybe. Cute round nose, adorable big eyes, nice and big, even more cuter. Now this is where the cuteness all comes together or it goes away. It's with outlining the face. At first, I thought I might like draw the cat eating the strawberry, but now I feel like maybe it might look cute if he's holding it. Probably have like one strand this way and then two strands going that way. Yeah, now it looks pretty cute. And now the paws look too small. Okay, no, the body's making it look weird now. Yeah, I think if I draw the body first, like a rough outline, then maybe it might help me. And I think this is the best I can do for this drawing. I might just outline this. All right, got it. I haven't used this in a long, long time. If you watch my uh, video where I drew, yeah, Disney characters, then you will see that I also used this brush pen back then, but that was like when I just got this brush pen. And I made so many mistakes, I had to fix a lot of them off camera. I guess if I just practice more, then it, I will improve, but <laughs> I haven't been practicing. Since there's just something about the eyes, I feel like it looked cuter as a sketch, and then now it just looks different. Oh no, it's mudged! Ah, I forgot this pen takes some time to dry. All right, let me just wait it out. I don't really know what I can do about this mudge. I guess I can just use my white gel pen in some places, but... Otherwise, we're just gonna have to deal with it. And uh, let's just add a little background behind cat. This is actually a really pretty gray color. I don't use grays a lot for backgrounds. I don't know why, but I think I should because, my gosh, this is amazing. All right, that looks nice. And I think just to make it stand out, I might just call the strawberry as well. Oh, I can already tell that this video is gonna take me ages to edit, <laughs> but it's all gonna be worth it. All right, next up, a llama, which is tied to many, many balloons, so it is flying high because of them. Uh, I think I might make another mini jar. Then does it have a tail? Oh, bless you. Oh, <laughs> my dog just sneezed. How adorable. I, think I might outline it with this 0.05 fine line, which is like really, really fine. And ta-da, here's how that turned out. Some orange, some purple, and let's finish it up with some blue. Call this in blue. Oh, and highlights! Nothing too major here. <clears throat> and now the next one, an orange marker with a moustache. There we go, we have an orange marker. Oh, okay, and now let's quickly outline this. <laughs> this looks so funny. Oh, this is more like a yellowish orange. Let me find an orange, orange. Yeah, this one's the one. Now, there we go, we're done. Oh, I like this one, mushroom twins. Actually, I made a drawing of a mushroom character, like, I think three years back. You guys wanna see it? Hold on, let me just get it. This is my first sketchbook. Okay, found it. This is the drawing that I'm talking about. It's a mushroom inspired character and maybe we can redraw her. Mushroom twins. Let's just draw two characters here. I think I might make a sister for her. So for the first character, I want her to be wearing like a mushroom inspired hat, like a beanie in a way. Uh, when I drew her, I imagined her as being like a really chill character. We can show that through the eyes. Okay, I am loving this design. These sisters look adorable. I don't really have names for them, but I love how they're looking. Let's just refine the sketch. There we go. That's done. Now let's go on to the next page. Oh, this page is really full. 
Okay, what can we draw next? Okay, this one seems interesting. A mermaid with octopus tentacles. Start off with the head. Yeah, and I'm gonna try and make this one pretty small as well. I wanna try and fit in as many drawings as I can. Since we're doing an octopus, we have to have eight tentacles instead. Here, I'm thinking of a messy bun. Okay, for the coloring, I actually wanna use like a different uh, skin tone in this swatch. I think this might be a pretty good skin. I think it might suit the idea a bit more in the darkness behind this illustration because I'm sticking with the idea that she's evil. Now for the hair, I'm gonna go in with a dark blue. I think this is actually kind of nice. For the tentacles, I might just use the same colors that I used for the hair. Actually, this kind of looks like a dress. If someone showed me this drawing, I'd probably just assume this wasn't really kind of flowy <laughs> dress. Yeah, actually, I think I'm just gonna go in with like a really dark gray color. I'm just adding little highlights at random places. And there we are. Oh, this one actually seems pretty cool. A person inspired by summer. To me, a person inspired by summer would probably be wearing sunglasses. Yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. Honestly, I don't even know how I draw hair. I draw hair like differently every time I draw hair. One part of the hair comes in front and, and the other part just stays behind. And the sunglasses, of course. Honestly, every drawing I make brings back memories of old drawings that I've made in the past. That looks nice. I think I might need to remove the sunglasses. I don't think I want to color this one in, but maybe I can just like color in the background, like just add a background. And time to find the sketch in three, two, voila. <laughs> and to the background, I think I might just go with this yellowish orange color. I think I might just add like a circle behind. Like, you know, how the sun shines in summer. I might actually blend these colors out. Wish me luck with the blending. You know what? I'm just, I'm probably gonna regret this, but I just wanna go ahead and add a couple of lines. Make it kind of stand out. Oh, and let's color this in yellow as well. Yeah, that is perfect. All right, for this next one, let's draw a fairy. And this one, I'm gonna make it really, really small. So I'm probably just gonna end up drawing like a stick figure, kind of, but I guess a detailed stick figure. <laughs> let's draw a mini Tinkerbell. Hands coming out, we're having our hip make. Okay, and then bun. Actually, I think I might just skip the line art for this drawing. Oh my, the feet look really weird. Honestly, I'm not even stressing out about the anatomy at this point. I'm just, I just want to get a nice drawing done. And there we go. There is our little Tinkerbell. I think, uh, like I said before, I'm just going to add a bit of green to her dress. Try and keep it away from the gray lids so it doesn't smudge. What can I draw next? All right, I would think of all done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this one is actually so cool. I love the idea. It is to draw small people swimming in a bowl of Fruit Loops with the Fruit Loops as floaties. Let's just go ahead and draw it. Um, if I could, I would definitely want to turn this into a full-on illustration, like digitally maybe. But right now, I'm going to stick with a small drawing in my sketchbook. But seriously though, the concept behind this is really cool. I love this idea. With the space I have, I'm probably just going to draw some stick figures. This drawing is probably going to be on the uh, simpler side in this video, but I couldn't resist from like not doing it. Fruit Loops are delicious. I want to add some color to this. I want to see how it looks with color. Just doing the outlining, and now let's color. Blend, color, add a bit of a shadow, add even more color. Bit of this different color here as well. And let's wrap it up with some pink. And there we go. This is a really creative idea, and I love making this drawing. And for the next one, okay, can you draw? I'm so sorry, I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong. Mitsuri Kanoroji from Demon Slayer, please. Okay, let's do it. You know what? Let's draw this one YouTube short style. And ta-da, here's how that drawing turned out. And let's just wrap up this video. Drawing whatever my subscribers tell me. So here is the grand reveal. And yeah, here are all the drawings that we made today. We have a lot of drawings and this was so much fun for me to do. It took me hours, but 
I feel like it was worth it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Other than that, have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, Magical Sparks!